motherhood will test your friendships like hey god in fact i remember a friend saying are you the first to be a mother when your friends give birth don't be the first to say the child has big head big nose big mouth have friends that have sense guys how am i doing so fast let me see did i blend it up Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your favorite doctor, Dr. Chuck Life in the building. Uh, 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 uh. Thank you guys so much for the love on my previous videos. I'm so grateful. Keep liking, keep subscribing, keep sharing. Don't forget to tell a friend, tell a friend, to tell a friend. Thank you guys. And also on my cook and chop series, you guys, thank you. Keep showing me love. Please, please, please. I'm not proud though. I'm begging. Thank you. So guys, today I'm going to be having a beef chit chat. And I thought, okay, ah. Let me do my makeup. Hmm. Let me try to do my makeup by myself for the first time in seven years. Oh my god. Because the last time I remember doing my makeup myself was in 2017. And I'm like, how can a full that does not know how to do makeup? So I want to see if I can still remember how to make myself up while I'm giving the we're going to be chatting together. So I'm going to talk about motherhood and how it has affected my friendship. Those that have stayed, those that have gone. Bye bye. Anyway, and in my own case, I became a stepmom first before I had my first biological child. That will be a separate video. So that will be my family and my friends' reaction to hearing that I'm, I want to become a stepmother. I think I'll have a separate video for that. For me, I would say it really affected my friendships in a positive way. Like, I feel like it also revealed my true friends to me. Because I had my daughter in 2020. That was a pandemic year. So basically everyone was home. Nobody was doing anything. So those that were supportive were supportive, even though clueless, because I mean, among my friends, my close-knit friends, I was the first to have a child. So they were basically all clueless. So it was like, I was the first mother in my friendship circle here. Yeah. But you could tell the ones that were true, the ones that genuinely wanted to support you, I'm be there for you regardless of the uncertainties that were going to come with being a mom and everything and then i remember when i had because i have a lot of friends so i'm going to be mentioning some names please these are the friends that were close to me at the time so people like kumbi vanessa damiola okay so now i have two damiolas in my life so damiola let's say now okay the other damiola in america one was with me so I'll say that Mala America, Kumbi, Vanessa, all of you, please don't come for me. I'm talking about the friends that were with me at that time. So I'm, I'm, this video is about just my close friends. Like my friend Favor, my God, shout out to Favor because she was my <laughs> craving supplier. So I remember when I was pregnant, like every time you see me in Favor's house, trust me, I've gone there to meet her to order food for me because I was craving something, you know? And then Dami too, I remember when I gave birth, Dami knew a lot of things. Yes, I just graduated or I was graduating. I can't even remember because it was pandemic. Yeah, so there was a drawback. Yeah, I was about graduating. But Dami had taken her time to Google a lot of things, being a new mom, what it entailed. So I remember when my daughter, when I had Chimamanda and we got home, Chimamanda did something and I felt that was unusual. And Dami was like, oh no, I'd watched a YouTube video and they said some children do this. And I'm like, oh. Shout out to them, Lola. She's with. In fact, I feel like that deepened our friendship because she was there for me. I mean, we used to live together. So she was there for me. Like, if Chimamanda was in her care, I could go to bed because I knew that I'm more safe and sound. I remember all the midnights when Chimamanda is crying, she will carry her, sing for her. Just basically be there. Guys, how am I doing so fast? Let me see. Did I blend it up? I feel like also priorities changed because now I was a mom. I could not hang out with them like I would want to. Sorry guys, I'm trying to find the... Okay, so guys, I want to do my brows now. Let me focus on doing the brows and I'll continue my story. Hard to get, tease me boy, I'm a Mr. Bray. One eternity later. Hmm. Okay, guys, I've done my brows. Please, I'm no professional, but I actually like this seven brow pencil because it has like lash strokes, kind of. I don't know if that's what you makeup people call it, but basically. So as I was saying, okay, let me just also say this 
motherhood will test your friendships like hey god i had friends that you know we want to go out everyone can go and then now i'm a mom i have a newborn i cannot go if i want to go so that's where i feel like empathy and support comes in my friends were more empathetic towards me i lost some friends let's say some friends or oh. anyways yeah i mean because i think like because my priorities changed some of them were not in for the right and then like i said it revealed true friendships to be very honest because those that were there it deepened our connections i feel like also my friends were happy for me like even if they were confused and didn't really know what to do like i said everyone was clueless even me i was clueless even me the mother i was clueless but i feel like they were dead you could see that okay we're here for you we don't know what's going on but we want to be there for you i remember them training me a baby shower i honestly didn't expect that because that was covid everyone was just trying to figure out what was going on so when they came over and then they had like a full shot but everything decoration food i was so moved you guys thank you in case i have said you guys thank you i love you all they threw me a shower and then I, once i had my child they were there for me sorry this thing is everywhere because i'm saying it as i remember it i remember milestones with my daughter they want to be involved oh chimamanda has taken her first step we are sending videos to the group everyone is excited genuinely happy they haven't dragging the child with you because in all fairness they are right though because they did more work like for example guys let me do my eyeliner and i want you to want me do you know that I just I just realized that I wanted to use eyeshadow, so why am I doing my eyeliner? <laughs> hey, like I said, I haven't made up in seven years, so pardon whatever you see. <laughs> you know, like I said, it just deepened friendship because I've also had to I've also lost friends that in fact I remember a friend saying, Are you the first to be a mother? When I asked for help. Of course, would I say a friend now? Because she's no longer my friend. So someone I used to know. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like that statement was very insensitive because I'm not the first to be a mom, but this is actually my first time being a mom. So if you could support me in any way, why do you have to be mean? But anyway, like I said, someone I used to know. And also, my friends were so compassionate. You know how people are joking here, yeah? and then people will see your ch child, and then they'll say, "Oh, big head! Ah, this child has big head!" Oh, they will now laugh as a form of joke. Now, this is a mother just coming out of delivery and in a postpartum phase. Already you have your own insecurity, whatever it is about your child. I might not have voiced out some insecurities I had about, oh, you know, are you feeling, okay, why did this child like this or like that? And you, you just, you know, dealing with that. And then imagine a friend comes and says, okay, maybe for example, you are thinking, ah, why did my child come out bound? As a mother, that insecurity is there. And then imagine your friend now comes and says, the baby does not go out here now, wow, and she's laughing. I feel that kind of comment there. I'm so grateful that my friends were very smart. Like, none of my friends made any snarky comments, if anything at all. I don't know if they knew this, but they were, they helped me because my friends would always say, Oh, she's so beautiful. She's so gorgeous. She's, ah, ah, she's so this. Oh, see her smile. See her this. See her that. Always train compliments here and there. So, for me, if I had any insecurity with the way they were trained compliments, of course, that helped me. When your friends give beds, I'm just going to say this. Don't be the first to say, the child has big head, big nose, big mouth. But the nose is not pointed though. All those funny comments. Nah, it's not helpful. Anyway, the point in all of this is have friends that have sense. And if you realize that along the line, you meet some friends that didn't have sense. When you see that they don't have sense, you cut them off. Do me a favor, please. Get out of here. You move on because you don't really, in that stage, you don't want any senseless person around you that's trying to make you feel insecure already about what you're already insecure about or mostly with your body so you know you can also have some silly friends that say like i said i'm very grateful for my set of friends they were very compassionate like like i said they have sense so you know when i was saying my body they'll say you ah, babe see how you snap back i didn't snap back that fast but you know they were telling me i snap back so my mind i'm like yes i snap back so i snapped back you know imagine i was dealing with the fact that oh i now have stretch marks I know my body was dark and black and then my friend comes in and says ah baby you're too black you know how you feel so mother would really test your friendship it can be their reaction to your baby or their reaction to your body but in all in all i'm grateful that yeah i lost a few friends i think one or two 
yeah but the ones that i have now i can tell you that those babes are solid like they have sense <laughs> let me do my eyeliner <laughs> Also, it also made me realize that I have a lot of selfless friends, like friends that would actually go out of their way to be there for you. I remember when I was going to give birth to Amanda, my friend said, favor, she had called me that, oh, I wanted to be there with you in the delivery room. I wanted to experience this with you. And I just felt, you know, she was just trying to be nice and compassionate. I didn't really think she was going to come because I went into labor at 3 a.m. And then I was like, oh, that may call favor. She said she wanted to labor. I don't know if she can make it. And then I got to the hospital for four o'clock because I wasn't even sure if it was late, but that's how clueless I was. I wasn't even sure it was late, but I was thinking, oh, I feel like using the toilet. Oh, you know, it was not the doctor that said, you know what, just come and let me check you. So I said, okay, your favor, we're going to the hospital because my doctor is saying I might most likely be in labor. And then we got to the hospital. She got there in like 30 minutes. She stayed till I gave birth like around 6.50. She was there till I came back, asked me, what do you want to eat? Say, so let her go home and prepare. I, I didn't think she would come out. To be with me funny thing they didn't even let her into the delivery room because it was covid period so they said oh no she couldn't come in because of safety and all those precautions were taking in that period but like i said selfless friends and then i had dami there so i have like razors negative so when i had given birth to my daughter i was supposed to take the anti-d injection and the hospital didn't have it they had run out of stock they were saying because of covid they wouldn't be able to get new stock dami practically was calling every hospital in manila at that time like you guys, my friend must get this injection because she was like, oh, I don't think it's happening to you. But later, the doctor was like, you know what, it's fine with your next pregnancy. Just let them know that you didn't take it and then you can take it since we can't get it here. All that effort trying to, you know what it means to call all the hospital in Manila? Just because she wants your friend to be fine. When we go back home, she will make food for me. I remember one time I was saying I wanted to eat wet spaghetti. Like, even me, what is wet spaghetti now that I'm thinking about it? But yeah, I mean, it's all those indulgements that they, your friends will indulge you in. With my daughter's pregnancy, my face was a mess. But you know, my friends would keep saying, it's okay, when you give birth, you can do skincare. Stop focusing on Because I was like, ah, see my pimp, see the pimples on my face, see the hyperpigmentation. But my friends just kept on reassuring me that when you give birth, you can treat yourself, it's okay, you're carrying our baby. You know, there was so much pampering. You guys, like I said, I'm grateful for my friends too, because they have sense. I'm making emphasis on sense because I also realized a few of the people I used to know didn't have sense. And that's why we can never be on that same level again. Now, I wasn't expecting so much from them. But the little support they gave me, I was very appreciative. And it deepened my bond for them. Like, even when they would send things out to Chimamanda, like clothes, you know, just being there. And I really hope I can be there for them too when they have their kids, just the way they were there for me. Because, Father Lord, I don't know if I could have done this without them. Because my husband wasn't around at the time. I went to join him later. Guys, have friends that have sense. I can't overemphasize this point because... Hmm. And then I feel at that point in time, I was almost entering postpartum depression. Maybe I entered for like one week and I came out. I don't know because I was confused. I was sad. I didn't know what was going on. Everything was supposedly ha happening at the same time. I had to bat a newborn baby that I'd never... I thought I could handle it, but then seeing how small and tiny she was, I was so careful. And then you have friends that were just constantly cheering you on. Oh, you're doing an amazing job. I feel like if even if my depression wanted to last, it wouldn't have lasted because my friends were there. Whether they knew it or not, they were just the voice in my head saying, you can do this. Because they were once physically around me. In fact, and thank God that they had money that period. Because imagine I had cravings and they didn't have money. God, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> because actually it's one thing to want to do and it's another thing to be able to do so in my case i'm grateful that they wanted to do it and they were able to do it i don't know how this makeup is makeup but people was coming in the comment section what how did i do please bear in mind that this is my first makeup in seven years so how did i do did i try did i nail it anyway guys that's what i wanted to just i wanted to do my makeup and i just felt to say appreciate my friends and tell them i love them so much we might not always get to speak every day but when we talk it's like yo we never stopped talking i'm grateful for my circle really i'm truly grateful for all my friends that god has blessed me so you guys i love you and I pray that God blesses all of you and I want to be there for you. So please, if I'm not being there for you enough, tell me because oh, I really appreciate you guys helping me enjoy the bliss of motherhood. Okay guys, so I'm done with the makeup. It was just a really simple makeup. I don't really, I didn't really do much. 
let me know what you guys think rate me in the comment section over 10 how did i do and what i can improve on maybe if i didn't do my brows well or the eyeshadow or i didn't blend well oh sorry i forgot to use powder you see I personally like all these products that I'm, I'm the products I'm using though because I feel like even if I'm not doing the correct thing, the products have helped me because it looks good from at least from what me I can see. You know, I don't want you to see, but it looks good. And all the products I used for this video, everything is from number seven. I really like their products because it has helped me. So I think like I can say it's beginner friendly. So yeah and let me know how if you're a mom how motherhood affected your friendship just a few lines in the comment section let's talk about that and if you lost a lot of friends if you gained more friends of course you gain more mother friends if you had to leave your single friends and also you when you were a mother because i feel like i'm just saying my friends my friends but i also had knew knew that i was intentional about my friendship with them i didn't want it to seem like oh you don't understand so i don't want to talk to you about it no I would still call my friends and say, oh, this is what Chimamanda is doing. Oh, babe, see what Chimamanda did. Even if they are no mothers, I wanted them to still be included in our lives. Because I feel like some people do that too, where because you have single friends who are not mothers yet, and you've not made more mother friends, you now start telling your mother friends things about your child and neglecting your single friends. No, so please don't do that. Me, I was also intentional too with my friendship. And so that's why we're still loving each other up. See you all in my next video. And like I said, I'm going to be talking about my friends and family's reaction to finding out that I wanted to become a stepmom. <laughs> that video, you don't want to miss it. <laughs> Alright guys, bye!